Bunjo squirted her. Toki fussed even more sadly. Ah! It's a tsunami! It's here! Help! Toki, what's the matter? Before his mother could see him, Sosuke ran down to the rocks. Don't worry, Ponyo. No matter what, I'll protect you, he promised. At his gentle words, Ponyo lifted her head out of the water and opened and closed her mouth. Sosuke! What? She just spoke, and fish speak? Does Goldie speak? No. No? This is a magical fish. Well, she does. Right? <laughs> she throws she you throws kisses, bubbles. right? <laughs> Sosuke's eyes grew round with surprise. Ponyo spoke again. Sosuke! Ponyo! Sosuke heard it clearly. He nodded emphatically and repeated, Ponyo! Then he pointed at himself and said, Sosuke! Ponyo loves Sosuke! I will love you too, Sosuke declared seriously. Ponyo flipped happily in the air, and Sosuke was bursting with happiness too. Fujimoto was in the ocean, silently moving toward Ponyo and Sosuke. He scooped up some seawater. Slithering fish passed from the palm of his hand and turned into a strange watery creatures. They flowed over the rocks where Sosuke stood. The creatures grew into huge waves. They surrounded Sosuke and in an instant swept Ponyo away. As suddenly as they come, the waves were gone. The sea was calm. Only gentle waves leaped at the shore. Ponyo! called Sosuke. He waded into the sea. Hey! The pail came floating towards him, but it was empty. Ponyo was nowhere to be found. Where could she be? Ponyo! Ponyo! Sosuke! Back in Lisa's arms, Sosuke couldn't stop crying. Ponyo! Ponyo! Okay, so that's it for now. <laughs> but do you